Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over the EKG machine. Now it's important to understand and memorize some basic facts if you're going to become an EKG master. Now first the EKG machine paper travels from right to left at a rate of 25 millimeters per second. Now this is important because if somebody were to mess with the configurations you need to remember to set it back to 25 millimeters per second. Also, on our EKG sheet, the x-axis represents time in seconds, while the y-axis represents height in millimeters. Now, each little box or small box is 0.04 seconds. If you remember nothing else from this video lecture, remember that each little box in the EKG is 0.04 seconds. Also, it is one millimeter in height, or the y-axis. Now, there are five of these little boxes in one big box, which means that a big box is 0.04 times five, which equates to 0.2 seconds. Also, note the small box is one millimeter tall, while the big box is five little boxes, so it is five millimeters tall. Now, normally an EKG sheet is around 10 seconds long, so therefore, if we need to quickly calculate the rate, we can just multiply the amount of R wave or complexes and multiply by six, but we'll go over that in another video. Uh, what we need to know right now is before you interpret the EKG, you have to look to the far right side of the sheet and make sure that the machine is calibrated properly. This means that you will see a box that is two big boxes tall and one big box wide, or 10 millimeters tall and 0.2 seconds wide. This is called standard calibration. This means if a box is 10 millimeters tall, it is going to be 10 millimeters tall on the sheet. Now, we need to know that it can be very easy to misinterpret an EKG if it is set to half standard, or half standard calibration. This box will look like a little stair step and the important thing to remember about EKGs set in half standard is that this calibration is used when the complexes are so tall that they're actually starting to run into each other. This half calibration stunts the height of the complexes. Therefore, a complex that is normally four millimeters tall will actually look two millimeters tall in half calibration, or in this case, a uh, complex that is 10 millimeters tall will look 5 millimeters tall in half calibration. Additionally, we must also know that double standard is used to amplify small complexes. Like in our obese patients, they have a lot of adipose tissue. Um, they don't generate electricity properly. So a complex that would normally be one millimeter tall uh, would be two millimeters tall in double calibration because we are doubling the height. Now, the important part of this lecture is that I'm going to give you a myocardial infarction cheat sheet that will help you quickly interpret uh, EKGs with uh, heart attacks. So right here I've drawn for you a, the 12 leads and what it would look like on an EKG. Uh, if your patient has an inferior MI, the leads that would be able to see this damage are leads 2, AVF, and 3. Now, if your patient has a septal MI, the damage can be seen by leads V1 and V2. If your patient has an anterior MI, that means that the leads that would be able to see this damage would be V3 and V4. And lastly, if your patient has a lateral MI, the damage can be seen by leads AVL, 1, V5, and V6. This pattern is very, very helpful to quickly determine the location of your patient's injury. So for example, if we had a ST elevation, meaning we had a complex that looks something like this, in leads two, three, AVF, V1, and V2, we would be able to quickly use this cheat sheet to remember that 2, 3, and AVF represent the inferior part of the heart, while leads V1 and V2 look at the septal portion of the heart. Therefore, we would say that this patient 
likely has an ST elevated MI or STEMI, the serious one, in the inferior portion of the heart and in the septal portion of the heart. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.